This is our tutorial video to remove a car stereo from a Volkswagen Golf between the years 2006 and 2010. First of all, get a removal tool and prise off the top grill. Sometimes this can be a speaker grill as well, so the same process is, is required. Then you'll come to a T20 Torx. There can have be one or two on some vehicles. This car in particular has two, so remove one from either side. Once removed, get your panel removal tool again and prise it from the back. Then use the tool from the front if needed to pull up the remaining bit. You have clips facing the front so be careful with that one. Now use your removal tool again and you have four clips in the front panel here so push those in and prise upwards. Then use the tool from the back to help remove the clips in the rear of the console itself and that should bring the whole unit itself forwards and off the top of the vehicle. You may need to come back to the front to loosen those clips again. But they're all clips again, so there's no screws involved. Now, this here is the passenger airbag sensor. So only do this when you have the ignition turned off. As soon as you disconnect that with the ignition turned on, it will throw up a passenger air airbag warning. So they have the switch and the passenger airbag. So what you do is you turn the ignition off, unplug it, disconnect this clip here which is basically a sensor checking to see if the passenger airbag is working now because you've disconnected it, it will think it's not it's faulty so remove it from here and plug it back into the passenger airbag switch once that's connected you can then test the new radio as much as you want by turning the ignition on and off if you basically disconnect it and turn the ignition on then it will throw up a fault code so make sure those two things are connected when the ignition is turned on now you've got two T20 torque screws here on either side, top left and top right. Unscrew these. And once done, use your removal tool again and prise off the trim surrounding the radio itself. So from one side Prise it down and bring them all down. I believe there's two clips on either side, but you'll be able to feel them pop as you go down. Take your time because the clips on these are quite brittle and sometimes they can break. If you break a few, don't worry because they, they will stay on quite secure anyway. But just be careful. Then you've got four more T20 Torx screws on either side, two on either side, sorry. Unscrew those. Now if you were to put an aftermarket radio into this location, the face you require will probably have the screw holes as well, so it will bolt in exactly the same way this one is unbolting. Um, so you'd have to get a fascia panel which basically has these four bolt holes uh, to bolt the stereo back in place. Um, so as you've removed the last um, T20 Torx here, the radio should literally just slide straight out. So you get hands on either side and just pull quite firmly. Uh, then on the rear of the actual unit itself you'll have um, four clips this is just a lever so pull the lever and you have the radio and maybe steering controls on there as well they pull out you might have to um, slide down a little clip to get out of place but apart from that once done that's how you remove the car stereo from the Volkswagen Golf between the age of 2006 and 2000.